Another one of the options in Google Photos is to create photo books and actually have them produced for you and shipped. So we're on photo books and you can see that they give you some examples, make a gift for friends, a someone special, kids, family. Um, and if I click on that, it'll bring up my pictures of mostly people, which I'm not going to do at this point. So I don't want to put anybody up there who wouldn't want to be live on YouTube. But it also has suggested books. So here's a trip to Reddington Township. So I'm going to click on that so you can see what happens. And what it does, it takes all those pictures that were taken on that trip and puts them into an album. And the first one would be the cover. You can see that Google put a title in, which is their creation of the title. So I can change that title if I want to simply by clicking in there and deleting what they have. And I can add New York trip 2018. So I could use that for the cover. Now there's some options for the cover also. Instead of having it this way with the title at the bottom, I can make I could make the cover like this so there's lots of white around it, or I can make it the full cover with no caption at the bottom. That's my choice. So I'm going to go back to what I had, New York Trip 2018. And now you can see that it starts to make the book, to design the book. And it takes the pictures from that trip. And on all of them, if I move my mouse over the picture, on the right I have options. Again, a wide border, a not so wide border, no border, and no caption. All right, so I have to decide which way I like it. If I don't want captions, I'm probably going to use the full uh, rather than leave that space. But if I don't add a caption, it'll just be blank. So I'm going to scroll down, and you're going to see all these things that I could put captions on if I wanted to, or I could change how they look. Also, whenever I put my mouse on a picture, you'll see that an X shows up. So if I didn't want that picture, for instance, if I don't want this helicopter, I can X out. I could undo the page delete if I wanted to, or I can keep on going. Now I would go through and if I wanted to do captions, I could put captions on all of these pages. All right, and so we're up to 16 pictures it shows. And you can see all these pictures and I'm just clicking to add them back. And there's a ton of pictures in here. And again, I could put all kinds of captions. Um, the inside, the back cover, I could put something in there if I wanted to. That photo is no good, is it? See, we don't want that. That's out of focus. So we're going to delete that. You can see that's a preview of what the book is going to look like. So I'm going to say check out. I want to see what it does here. And it says choose a book type. I can get soft cover. And it's telling me that I have three extra pages and it would cost me $11.04. Or I can make it hardcover, a nine inch square with three extra pages, and it would cost me $21.94. So I can select three extra pages, that. I can add a gift message if I want it shipped directly. And then I could check out. It's a very cool way to make a book right from your Google Photos.